Sergei Parkomenko is a journalist and a George F. Kennan expert with the Wilson Center's Kennan Institute. He joins us to discuss an amazing project of remembrance called Last Address. Sergey, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So tell us about Last Address. What is the project? Uh, it's a project of uh, uh, to commemorate uh, victims of uh, political repressions in Russia and the Soviet, Soviet Union just since the first day of Soviet Union, just it's not only a Stalin's uh, period or or communist uh, late communist period, but just since uh, uh, 1917, mm -hmm. uh, uh, since since uh, uh, Russian Revolution, uh, it's a quite a Russian catastrophe uh, comparable with Holocaust. It's uh, almost uh, eight million people directly uh, suffering as uh, victims of this political repression. And uh, the idea of this project was inspired by a very known uh, European project, um, Stolperstein. It's a small stones placed uh, on the doors of uh, uh, buildings where victims of Holocaust uh, lived. So literally their yeah, last yeah. address. Yeah, it's yes, directly, uh, practically last address, last known last address, known address sure. of these of these of these people. And uh, and what's on the plaque? Uh, in Russia, uh, just as as on the Stolperstein, it's a very very few information information, just the name, profession, and three date. Date of birth, date of arrest, no, four. Uh, date of birth, death, date of arrest, date of uh, dead, and uh, date of rehabilitation. Hmm. It's uh, very important for Russia, and it's 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 a sign very very known for every single Russian. This this uh, world rehabilitation. Uh, explain that. What do you mean in, yes, in a Russian context? What does rehabilitation mean? In, this uh, uh, in the uh, after the Stalin era, it's uh, s s s uh, since late uh, nineteen fifty years, uh, and uh, and after millions and millions of victims of repression uh, of Stalin's era was rehabilitated, was uh, um, declared uh, not guilty. Uh, declared, declared cl clear of this of yes. this ac ac accusation by Soviet and after post-Soviet authorities. Uh, so it's a very important important day in the in the a very important date in uh, in the, the destiny in the the life of uh, every every family in uh, in Russia. What does the, what is the what are the main goals of the project? Is one to just mark history, the importance of remembrance? Uh, is another part of yeah, so, the country? So technically healing? technically uh, it, this project is uh, to place uh, just small plate like this, like mm -hmm. like postcard format with names and dates at that's all uh, on the walls, on the facades of buildings where this person lives the, uh, in the moment of arrest, uh, this uh, literary last address, and the idea is uh, before and uh, um, uh, in the beginning of every single place, we have a person of today who apply for this, who ask our project. I want to put this plate on this address with this name. And I pay a small amount uh, just to cover the cost. Just for, for cover a technical right. cost to creation of this this uh, this plate. So we 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 make a community. We we make a society of people who work with this uh, with this uh, monument. It's like a pixelized monument, like a distributed monument with. Hundreds and hundreds small plate in different city in Russia, or now abroad in Russia, because we have Ukrainian последний address, last address, Czech last address, Romanian, Moldovian, Georgian, Estonian. So we have different uh, project. It become international project now. 
Today, we're recording our discussion on the day that's the 50th anniversary of the assassination of Robert Kennedy here in the United States. And I heard some commentators talking about how some people, the, the nation hasn't fully healed from that. That was one man's death, not to diminish it. Yeah. You're talking about the death of millions. Yeah. Is this part of a healing process? Can, can yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, this, is a, this is a main goal, main, main idea of this project. It's to, to go from, uh, I say, cosmic view or, or um, uh, uh, ge geopolitic view with millions of victims, with big uh, pro process like, uh, uh, like uh, industrialization. Well, it's so big it becomes yeah. abstract. Yeah, yeah. But abstract, uh, it, it, it's true. So go to the personal life, to the personal name, to the personal uh, personal image and uh, uh, destiny of one family. One it's name, a, one life, one symbol. Absolutely, your motto. absolutely. One it's life, fantastic. one life. History is made from lives, not from processes, not from pol politics, not from wars, but from single lives, million of different single lives. And uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very, it's a healing process because uh, normally uh, every single person in, uh, in Russia and um, in Soviet Union uh, already decided is it for or against uh, Stalin uh, era, Stalin repression, Stalin crimes or Stalin's victories. And to destroy these bubbles, everybody is your own bubble of same point of view, mm -hmm. of same vision, uh, of different uh, history, uh, historic process. To to destroy these bubbles, to make people, uh, to make people speak about, to make people think about, to make people discuss these pr these problems, to make people. Uh, understand each other. Uh, it's uh, it's a this is a goal of this project. Speaking of bubbles, uh, one big bubble, the Kremlin. Have yeah. you heard from the government about the project? Do they, have they made any comments on it? Our idea is a uh, uh, a neutrality, uh, uh, silent neutrality. <laughs> we ask less attention is more. Absolutely, right absolutely. We we ask nothing to state. We ask nothing to 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 government. We we are. Uh, our own money, our own participants, our own activists, our own volunteers, it's enough. We make all the work needed for this project. We don't need nothing from state. And our idea, please don't pay attention <laughs> of us. <laughs> uh, we, we, we are absolutely independent from state and it works. Strangely, it works. We don't ask any permission. We don't need uh, permission uh, to, to put this plate, we don't need a permission from um, from authorities. But you do need, need permission from the individual homeowner. Yes, yes. And, and how do yes, they react from home, if, if from they don't home. know? It's that. a very, very interest, interesting uh, work because we have some uh, volunteers specialized in this diplomatic work. Uh, these these uh, people goes to speak people on the side. Just knock on a door and say, yes, excuse absolutely. me. Excuse I'd, me, yeah. it's, a, it's uh -huh. an, our project. Our project needs you permission to make this. And uh, maybe a first first minute, people is very, very amazed with this. And uh, and after it's, it's, a, it's a discussion. It's a, it's a normal normal talk between between people. And it's, it's a very important, it, it's a crucial moment of our project. It is, uh, this negotiation between our volunteers and owners of uh, of this building. Are they usually cooperative? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have maybe maybe ten percent ten percent of of no in uh, in this uh, um, uh, in this negotiation. Normally, we are uh, we are uh, a permission from uh, owners or inhabitants of these, uh, these buildings. You, you've mentioned, and the reasons you try to avoid the politics or the, or the government officially in this, but is this viewed as a political statement in any way? I mean, every leader of every country to some degree uses history politically to make yeah. a statement about values or to promote a modern day agenda that they try to prop up with historical antecedents or, pr or precedents. Uh, the, 
do you avoid the politics completely or is there some sort of subversive message here about the importance of history and remembering it accurately? It's not possible to avoid politics completely. It's absolutely not possible. And the most important thing, the most important Stalinist is in the head. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see Russian legislation or uh, the declaration of Russian, uh, of Russian power, it's not so Stalinist. It's not uh, Stalin with uh, his cream. Uh, uh, it's it, it is all this criminality of of uh, uh, Stalin's era. It's not on the official propaganda of Russia, but the Stalinism is isn't on the head, on the mind, because it's the the main idea, one of the of the main uh, base of uh, uh, today's Russian state is uh, 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 human life cost nothing. Uh, we have a lot of things to do, more important than human life. Human life. And it is totalitarianism uh, as such. It, it, it is authoritarian state. It is non-democratic state. Uh, uh, because the most important is human life. So, so the opposition of our project is it is a sense of human life. Mm -hmm. Human life is the most important thing for us, and not important thing at all for for Russian state. This this is our our our, our conflict, not a not a name of Stalin or not a, a number of victims, but it is a philosophical idea, if you know. The the era that you're addressing certainly goes beyond the borders of Russia proper. Yeah. And now you're moving. I think Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Say? Yes, uh, we we have already uh, working uh, the same Ukraine U Ukrainian project, uh, Astania Adresa. Uh, we have just the same in the Czech Republic, and uh, we work now in the different stage in uh, uh, Georgia, Moldova, Romania, Estonia, and Germany. It's 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 a very mm -hmm. very interesting point because. Uh, it's uh, that all the totalitarianism uh, are same uh, in different country, in different times, in different situation, and we have our German uh, colleagues, German German friends, who who uh, tell us uh, yes, we need our uh, our own uh, address, last address for Germans because of victims of uh, socialist. Uh, uh, era in Eastern Germany, uh, Stasi, and so on. It's absolutely the same <laughs> as uh, the situation in uh, in uh, United States and and Stalinist KGB. Have you uh, encountered any complications or difficulties in as you move beyond Russian's borders? Uh, it's uh, so uh, far people uh, are receptive. Uh, uh, no, it, it's a uh, it's a absolutely different situation in different. Can't country. generalize. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. in dif different country. It's uh, very easy in Georgia. Uh, uh, difficult in Romania <laughs> because of local legislation, mm -hmm. legislation here, and uh, it's a, not a, a Russian project uh, uh, which works in different countries. No, our idea is to create local projects with local volunteers based on on local legislation to work with us uh, in the basis uh, of. Uh, Cooperation agreement uh, or or some something like this. So we need uh, we need uh, people uh, on the place. It's not Volunteers. by distance. It, yes. It's, do, do you need some yeah. uh, financial support as well, or is it self-contained by the fees that people? Uh, it's fi financed by just by just, just people by people. Uh, just themselves. by people. Yes, just by people or or some uh, um, philanthropic foundation in Russia. No one, no single ruble from Russian state. Uh, only private uh, foundations or private persons. So, Sergey, how how big do you think this can become, and how far down the tracks are you to your goal? Do, have you thought of it in that way? Do you have an end goal, or is this going to just uh, grow as it grows? We don't need we don't need millions and millions on the plate. We have now uh, eight hundred already made it in Russia, and uh, it's in uh, more than forty cities uh, cities in Russia. We have more, uh, more or less, two thousand applications, but it's a very visible. You have, uh, imagine uh, in Moscow, we have uh, we have now uh, 
uh, 300 others in Moscow, 300 different uh, buildings on the mm. center of Moscow, it's a very often, it's a very visible. Yeah. And in Moscow, you are the plaques easily identifiable yeah, as yeah, part of the yeah, project. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You 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 can can confound this with with any any other. It's a, it's a very visible. It's a small plate, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, with a very special, very uh, distinguishable design uh, because we have a uh, um, like a hole uh, on this on the, on this plate. It's like a like a um, uh, uh, like a um, photo without photo uh -huh. like, like, like a place like a frame almost, yes so like a frame yes. yes like a frame for for small photo but without photo yeah. because because the idea is a lack of people of of absence of people it is it is uh, um, it is a whole uh, right the loss it represents the loss, the loss yes the loss of people so uh, it's very visible it's very impressive. If you if you walk uh, in the center of the Moscow, you see this here and here and here and here, and, and you, you see dozens and dozens and hundreds Powerful. of at this plate, and it's it make a very 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 big very. F powerful impression. Well, well, thank you. This is a really amazing project. Congratulations on it. And thank you very much. We continue. It's just I the hope, beginning. <laughs> I hope just the it's beginning. Just thank the beginning. you, Sergei. Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you.